Hi everybody, it's Alice and Lisa Kate. Come on in here, babies. I'm gonna show you how to make a topsy-turvy cake. Let's do it! I've already prepared four 10-inch cakes. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put some simple syrup on each layer. Just simple syrup on each layer just to keep it moist as I frost them. I'm gonna be putting strawberry ganache in between each layer. Guys, I'm going ahead and put my chocolate ganache in the middle of this strawberry cake. I just believe that strawberry ganache, it holds the cake so well when you're doing it. All right, everyone. Now that I've gotten the ganache in between each layer, now what I'm going to do is actually cut the cake into the topsy-turvy style. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting this into the topsy-turvy style. And all you're doing, there's a heel here. All you're doing is cutting down and over. Longer knives are good as well. And since I'm going this way, what I'm going to do here is actually turn it a little bit here so I can stay in that cut. Okay, what we're going to do, first, I made some strawberry frosting as well. I'm going to go ahead and put some here because I'm going to need it in just a second. So let me go ahead and get the strawberry frosting on there and just spread this out here. This strawberry frosting was made with fresh strawberries. So we're just going to go ahead and spread it. Doesn't have to be pretty or anything. We're just going to get that spread it that way. Next, we're going to take this piece that we cut and we're just going to flip it just like here. Just like that. You see it's higher here. You have a high heel. That is what gives you your topsy-turvy style. Okay? What I'm doing now, guys, I'm just going around the cake board, just trimming um, the cake down to the actual cake board that's holding it. Once I get this trimmed, um, all the assets come off, you'll be able to see more of the um, topsy-turvy shape. I've trimmed the cake into a topsy-turvy shape. I've taken all the edges off. And now it's time for the fun part. Let's get the frosting. Let's start this frosting process. And I'm just going around the cake with my frosting bag. We made it to the top. Yay! Some fell off. That's okay. And then here, you don't have to worry about this top too much because we just want to... Put a pile of frosting there anyway, like so. Bam! How about that? <laughs> okay. And all we're doing, this is your actual crumb coat that you're doing. And I always normally start on the edges. So let me start where I normally start at. I'm just going around here um, and putting the frosting around the actual cake. We've got our cake completely frosted now. Um, we got the crumb coats all covered. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set this in the fridge for 15 to 30 minutes. And while it's setting, I'm gonna go ahead and make a smaller topsy-turvy to go on top. Now that I've gotten my cake out of the fridge after it's set, you see I got the crumb coat on here. Also, I've cut out an area here so that the second topsy-turvy tier can sit down in there. So what I'm going to do now is let you guys just simply watch me frost the cake. All right, everyone. I've already put my second coat of frosting onto my cake. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put some fondant on it. Once I put the fondant on there, I'm just going to go around it and start smoothing it in. And I'm going to start at the top first with my fondant smoother. And just make sure I got the edges pretty sharp. Once you got all of your fondant um, put on your cake, it should look like this. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the edge. Also, I'm going to go ahead and add the extra um, topsy tier cake on top. Before I put my second tier on, I want to go ahead and put some support in there. And I'm just adding in some cake straws through here just to hold 
the second tier that I will be adding in there. Again, I get the cake straws down in there. Let me go ahead and cut some of this off. This is just to add support to your cake. I got my second layer ready. I'm just gonna go ahead and carefully put it on top like that and just let it sit down in that crest. What I'm doing now is I'm getting ready to dress this up into a Alice in the Wonderland um, teacup party. So I'm just adding some water on the top here. I'm gonna go ahead and put some snow on there. So what I'm doing first is I'm going ahead and putting water in the spot where I want the stack of teacups. So let me grab that. What I'm doing now is just making sure the fondant is sticking real tight to the top of the cake. And this is a saucer on the bottom. I went on and added that. And so everything is sticking good. Let me go ahead and get one more area here. And so we have that. All right, so the saucer is on there real well. Let's see here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add a clock, some chains on the clock, and those type of things there. I'm just using water to attach the clock to the cake. I have the clock as well as I have the chain coming down. And I'm very, very excited about this cake. I am loving this thing, the tea party thing, Alice in the Wonderland. So I'll go ahead now and try to cut out some of the talking and you guys can just watch me. I am going to just go ahead and start adding some little gadgets and things to bring the cake out. the diamonds, the clovers, um, also have the salsa. So this is a fun, fun topsy-turvy cake to make. And hey, if you make one of these, please go ahead and send me a picture of it. I would love to see it. And please like and subscribe.